Hey everybody. Well, it's our last day here in the I'm trying to reconnect. Here we go. It's our last day here in the south of France, unfortunately. Uh, we've had the most amazing time and tomorrow we will be driving to what is one of my absolutely 100% favorite places in the whole wide world, which is uh, what the French people call Lac Léman. Lac Léman and uh, English people call Lake Geneva. So if you know Lake Geneva, that's what the uh, Swiss call it, I think, and the English call it, but uh, the French people call it Lac Léman, L-E-M-A-N. And uh, we're gonna spend about, I think a month there. So um, this is the last time you're gonna see me in this beautiful garden, at least for a while. We're gonna leave our friends here. We're taking one of the family members with us. To the lake and um and yeah so i'm actually going to make a change to the time that these daily messages go out i just made a quite split second decision uh on the chanting that i do before that so it's good news for people in the usa uh, on the west coast of america and in the middle and on the east coast of america for you guys instead of it being at like 6 a.m. your time, it's going to be something late, sort of midday or early afternoon. I'll, I'll have to put the time up. I'll work out the time later on today. Um, I'm afraid for the Aussies, I know it's been perfect for you guys, which is one of the reasons why I set it to this time. But when we go to the lake, we're gonna be um, really more in holiday mode and uh, it's just gonna be easier for me to do it like that, at least while we're at the lake. And then maybe when we get back, I think I'll probably revert to the 11, 11 a.m. Um, I hope the Americans won't mind too much, uh, but it's, it's actually kind of like 11, 11 a.m. works really well for me when I'm working. Um, but because I'm not really working in the next few weeks as much as I possibly can help it, uh, I'd still be doing my daily stars and so on, but um, it's just easy for me to do it at the end of the day. So you'll be getting me um, fresh from the lake, uh, having been hopefully swimming all day. Um, and I might do the odd uh, other thing as well. So I hope no, none of the Australians are gonna to be too upset with me. I hope the Americans are gonna be very happy with me. And uh, that's as of tomorrow. So as of tomorrow, um, it will be at about UK time, um, I think it will be about 4.30 p.m. that I'll be doing this. And I'm actually gonna start doing the chanting on Facebook as well during this period uh, for various reasons. Um, so instead of doing it on Zoom, I'll, I'll be doing it at 4, 4 p.m. UK time. And, uh, and then I'm gonna be doing this daily message at 4.30 p.m. UK time. So if you wanna join in for chanting, I'm a little bit nervous to do the chanting on Facebook. Um, Zoom is nice and private. And as I was saying to the chanting group this morning, you know, chanting is not for everybody. In fact, where we are right now, we're in this beautiful house. Let me see if I can show it to you a bit. There's this beautiful house here. And next door, there's a, another sort of villa, which is obviously rented out to people right now, some German people, because I can hear them talking. And, and the people who own this house where we are, our friends have said the people who live there are not, they're French. So they've obviously rented their place out for a few weeks to some German visitors. And, you know, I'm even quite, you know, I've been a little bit um, self-conscious of chanting in front of them. Um, and I could see them today actually sort of all lining up near the fence and kind of looking to see what was going on. So anyway, we'll be chanting. I'll be chanting on Facebook for better or worse, at least for the coming few um, weeks. I'm gonna do a card in a minute. Um, I just wanted to mention as well a couple of things. One is that this morning my team and I had a meeting and uh, we decided what we're going to do for the coming new moon, okay? So in about, well, it's actually at the end of this week, believe it or not, um, we've got a couple of free events 
Um, one of which, I, one I think we're going to say, can you please buy the diary? And the other one will be free. Um, the can you please buy the diary, and this is my way of saying thank you, will be, uh, actually I'm, I'm not really clear. Let me just tell you about the two events and then you can, I, hopefully I can tell you more tomorrow. Um, we're still kind of working it out, but we know what's happening basically, okay? And it's going to be hopefully amazing. And remembering I'll be doing this from the lake. Geneva, Lac Clément, which is honestly one of the most magical places in the whole wide world. And I will tell you, for years I struggled to understand why it's so amazing. And last year I worked it out. Um, and I'll tell you about that when we're there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do two ceremonies, two days in a row, okay? So remembering that this coming new moon is the second new moon in the sign of Cancer in a row, okay? So it's very unusual and it's, it's basically a message from the heavens that you know you need to work in this part of your chart to start all over again now I'm always yesterday or the day before I was talking about rising signs and I was explaining what a rising sign is and, and a few basics so if you didn't see that I think it was yesterday check it out um, but really I really encourage you to work out where it is taking place in your chart by your rising sign because um, we had the new moon eclipse there and now we're getting the second new moon in the same sign a month later so it's basically a message to you you really need to work on this part of your chart okay um, if you don't know your rising sign there's plenty of places to find it out on the internet my sort of version where you can find it out is moon messages it's free moonmessages.com forward slash free chart one word moonmessages.com forward slash free chart if you don't know why I'm saying look at your rising sign, take a look at the, the Facebook live from, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday, and that should explain to you why. Um, but overall, you need to know where it is. And I'll, I'll, I'll probably get a chance to explain it in the next few days, but I don't really have a chance to do, to do, that, uh, to do, do, that, do that today either, because I, I really want to tell you about the two events, the two free events we're having. So the first is going to be on June the 19th and it's going to be a dark moon ceremony okay it's going to be a dark moon ceremony we i started doing these about three or four months ago and oh my god i find it so powerful because um it's just basically the dark of the moon is just before the new moon it's the end of the balsamic moon phase and it's when um the, one of the best analogies i've read i think it was in um Demeter George's book uh, about the dark moon and it basically says if you think of okay think of a beautiful grapevine okay a beautiful vine with beautiful heavy with ripe delicious grapes that are going to make grape juice and grape jam and wine and all those lovely things that you can make with grapes that's at the peak I guess that would be uh, you know in the summer when they're all big and ready to be harvested and then they get harvested and then eventually what happens is that the the vine will start to wither and the grapes that aren't picked will wither and everything will start to go brown and dry and it will all start to, and you can sort of crush it all in your hands it will all just fall away that's kind of the dark moon phase when everything's just crumbling in your hands and you can get rid of it and the most important thing to do at the dark moon is to just crumble away any upsets from the month that you've had, okay? Anything that's upset you, any fears that have come up, maybe due to the pandemic, anything about your family or friends, anything you've been going through, just imagine it as dry and ready just to be crumbled in your hands, okay? So we're gonna do a special dark moon ceremony the day before the new moon that's so that'll be july 19 and then on july 20 we're going to do a new moon ceremony okay uh, which is going to be very important because it's the one for the second new moon in your um in the same part of your chart so they're both i mean i would say if you're on the spiritual path and you want to work on yourself Make time for both of them. They're two days in a row, and uh, <clears throat> and just commit to you know even if you don't do it every month, do it this month. I'm going to do my dark moon ceremony on the 19th. I'm going to do my new moon ceremony on the 20th. And just as one more note, I mentioned it yesterday, I think. Uh, but for anyone who's Virgo rising, any Virgo rising people out there, 
the day after that, so it's the 19th for the dark moon, the 20th for the new moon, and then on the 21st of July, we're going to do Written in the Stars for people who are Virgo rising. And Written in the Stars basically helps you to understand your chart, helps you to understand the energies going on in your chart, and also will make some really powerful new moon wishes together then. Just for you guys, we'll still be in the new moon phase, even though it's the day after the new moon. That actually lasts for about three days. Um, and it's the most powerful time of the year for you to do it if you're Virgo rising because the new moon will be taking place in your 11th house, which is the house of the thing wished for. So if you want to sign up for that, the description, the uh, link is in the description, but it's moonmessages.com forward slash written, W-R-I-T-T-N as in written in the stars. So have a look, moonmessages.com forward slash written. So there we go. Um, I just wanted to tell you about all that and to tell you about the change of time. So uh, if you like tuning into these, so from tomorrow, I think it will be 4.30 p.m. UK time. And I'll find out what time that is all over the world and I'll post about that. Um, and if you're going to be in Australia and you're going to be asleep, I'm really sorry. I'm just doing it for the holidays. Um, I'm happy for the Americans who haven't been able to see these live. And, you know, in Australia, you'll be able to wake up to them, you know, and they'll still be valid. So we're going to do a card. I've got my cards here. Who is in the mood for a card? Who wants a card? Who, who has a pressing question? Who has... Catherine says, is that the card is in the background? Yes. Listen. It's the sound of the south of France. Aren't they beautiful? All right. All right, cute comments, everybody. All right, here we go. Here's a card. Think of your most pressing dilemma. Yay! You're very close to achieving your goal. How good is that? That's the Gibbous Moon card. Let me just do my Casey Neistat alternative expression. Who knows who Casey Neistat is? All right, here we go. Who know? Put in the comments if you know what's with the glasses, says Monique. Yeah, I know. Well, the thing is that I don't have any makeup on. I look a bit of a wreck, really, but at least with my sunglasses on. I'm not sure. Maybe it looks even crazier. <laughs> I don't care, actually. I don't care. Um, you're very close to achieving your goal is the... Um, is the card and it's the gibbous moon which is the one just before the full moon and uh, for those of you who bought my 2019 diary that was actually the cover from Nix Rowan and uh, and I finished writing the 2022 diary yesterday <gasps> oh my god so good that's one of the reasons why I've decided to change the time of these sessions um, because now I feel like I really am on holidays and I'm happy to, uh, I'm happy to, um, just laze around a bit more in the morning. Um, Leanne, you're very close to achieving your goal. So if you haven't done the exam yet, keep studying. All right, I'm going to read it, what it means. Okay. So the word gibbous means bulging. What a descriptive word, right? And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak. So it hasn't quite peaked yet. But this isn't an ending card with a, ye a neat yes or no. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want, though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a, sen a sense that the situation is a bit tense, so don't push too hard. Okay, don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. Wah! This is not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know there's a fuse attached to this situation, so be careful if you choose to light it. 
So the affirmation is, I know that I am on the right track. So who wants to affirm that with me? Who wants to affirm that with me? I'm going to say it together out loud. I'm going to say it three times. I know that I'm on the right track, okay? Three times. One, two, three. I know that I am on the right track. I know that I am on the right track. You can put it in the comments as well. I know that I am on the right track. So, uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. UK time. There's a very good, no, yeah, uh, 4.30 p.m. Sorry, 4.30 p.m. UK time. There is a very good chance I'll be in the car and I might even do a, a little video tomorrow instead of um, an actual live, but we'll see. All right. Lots and lots of love and I'll see you tomorrow one way or another, 4.30 p.m. UK time.